hello friends uh, welcome to my channel debug well in this video tutorial we'll see what are web configs and its transforms web.config file is the application's configuration file it is typically used to configure an asp.net web application and define configuration settings for the web application a web.config transformation file contains xml markup that specifies how to change the web.config file when it is deployed when we deploy the application for production we have a different config file for staging area we have a different config file in order to transform a web.config for different type of environment we need the xtt colon locator and xtt colon transform let's quickly flip to visual studio this is small uh, web application and uh, i already have a live transform as well as a testing transform in the previous tutorial i had created these two transform if you want to see how i have created this live and testing transform you can check my previous tutorial on the config file okay let's uh, work with this testing environment and create a transform for this let's cut this paste it here for this testing uh, we want the data source to be the current directory so for example i'll change it to a dot and initial catalog to be let's name it as testing db and for this configuration the name is my db let's go to our original web.config file here the name is default connection so we need to have the same name change this name to my db so this xtt colon locator helps us to locate the field that we want to change so it says match name and what is the name for this the name is set to my db so it will go to the parent file which is this actual web.config and it will match with this name my db since we have found this entity our next step is to change this entire string so in this we want to replace this connection string and provide a name both string which is suitable for our testing environment so we'll go to web.testing config and we'll use xdt transform replace so what we are doing here firstly we located the entity that we need to change then we said we want to replace this connection string for this entire string now uh, let's actually uh, deploy it and we'll see how the new web config looks like for deploying we'll do a file deployment go to the application right click click on publish custom give it a name as uh, deploy and we'll select file system the target location where we'll be having all our deployed files so i have already created a folder called testing where i will be deploying this application click open then go to settings and change this configuration to testing because we want to apply this whatever we have put in testing and put it on the actual web.config file now click on publish publish succeeded now we'll go to this folder testing this is the transformed web.config file for the testing environment let's open in notepad plus plus so you can see the name is mydb the data source is changed to dot and initial catalog is changed to testing db let's see what the original web config look like so this is how the original web config looked like and after the transform this is how it looks like so this entire string got replaced by a new connection string let's flip to the slide and see the definition for uh, xtt locator and uh, xtt transform match attribute which selects the element or elements that have a matching value for the specified attribute or attributes if the multiple attribute names are specified only elements that match all the specified attributes are selected this is the syntax then we looked into replace replace the selected element with the element specified in the transform file if more than one element is selected only the first selected element is replaced and this is how the syntax looks like 
Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, click on like, subscribe and comment.